This thing has a... Does it have a mass airflow sensor in it? It's got a... It's not a mass airflow sensor. Oh no. It's... I guess it's the airflow meter? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, I'm Isaac. I'm Charles. John's behind the camera and today we are back on the trophy cart. There's lots to do. Um, we've got our own assignments. I'm working on the electrical, uh, which is uh, pretty confusing. Charles here, he's working on the rear part of the frame and fuel system. And uh, John, he's working on uh, what, the clutch, the brake, and the go pedal? Yes, indeed. All right. Um, so there's lots to do, so let's just go ahead and get to it, dude. So we're, we're measuring some uh, some cross bracing on the back. Uh, triangulation is always better uh, for more support, but we're going to go for like a truggy style and then have the fuel system back here. So ho hopefully that'll work out for today. Sounds good. So on this BMW, it's crazy. There's so many connectors that are the same, but the wire colors do not match. So uh, that's kind of held us up because I don't want to wire it up wrong. So what I've done is I've brought along another bike. So I brought the other parts bike. Remember, I, I don't know if y'all remember in the uh, previous episode, not the previous, when was this? It was a few episodes one, one ago. Of the first, one of the very first ones for this build. Yeah, so uh, I bought a BMW motorcycle and it came with a parts bike. And that parts bike engine is on the trophy cart. So uh, I'm glad I have this extra bike because it already gave up the coils for the trophy cart. And uh, now we're gonna look up the wiring. So. The Little Rascal Mini Bike just launched at GoPowerSports.com. It comes with everything you need minus the engine. No welding required. We're talking wheels, tires, seat, chain, all in the box. The frame comes unpainted and as you can see here, it is very heavy duty. We are painting this Hunter Green, which you can see in an upcoming video. Use the link in the description to see for yourself. They won't last long. So we're thinking about the gas tank placement. We need it uh, somewhere out of the danger zone, but we need it in an easy access spot and still be able to utilize the bed space. So we're thinking somewhere around in here. What do you guys think? I think that's spot on, buddy. Perfect. Yeah, that's it's gonna be a winner. All right. How is it going with you, man? <laughs> I'm uh, about to, I'm, I'm trying to f figure out some brackets for the Speedo. It's going to be mounted right around this area, kind of behind the steering wheel where we can't really look at it, but it'll fit better, I think. Don't you think? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Don't want it above the steering wheel because that's in. Yeah, then we're not going to be able to see yeah. even more. I've, I've done some wiring. I don't have everything done yet, but I want to see. All right, 
So I want to see if she fires over, or if she turns over and, and, and has ignition. So I'm gonna hook up this battery, battery cable and uh, see what happens. All right, keep an eye out, guys. Okay. Oh, I got, why, why are the lights on? Hmm. Hmm. Gonna tap the starter. Hey. Just hold the drive shaft spinning. So it's in here. No, it's not, because I can, uh, oh, okay, so it's not, but it's got enough drag. All right, well, I'm gonna hook this up, and uh, Charles is gonna squirt some, uh, some Inject flammable. Inject injector number one. Man, maybe I ought to have this where I can just quickly disconnect. That's a great idea, man. I have to add some more. Okay, yeah, she's dripping out the back of the box. But every time. Ready? Yes, here we go. Give her a little bit. Just, yeah. We'll just let her idle. Alright, here we go. Well, she's trying, so that's a good sign. It, well, isn't this what it did to us when we first put the thing together? Remember how we were like, uh, oh, we need a fuel pump. Yeah, didn't we uh, have a problem with uh, it didn't like the... The starting fluid? The brake clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, when we put the fuel pump to it, it, it did all right? I believe that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, I mean, so. we have a fuel pump sitting over there. All right. As soon as Charles, you know, tacks in that fuel tank, we can run fuel line and try it again. Yeah. Uh, another thing we got to figure out is this air box. This thing has a... Does it have a mass airflow sensor in it? It's, got it? A, it's not a mass airflow sensor. Oh, no. It's. I guess it's the airflow meter. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, my goodness. And... <gasps> it looks like a computer. Yeah, well, it's got a flap in it. The fuel so. pump will not come on unless it senses the air flowing through. And it'll open up and... Uh, I think that's the way this works. Okay. So uh, we're gonna have to figure out uh, <laughs> the air box situation we've got here. Anyhow, but it's good to hear it kind of sputter over sputter a little bit. Sputter over a little yeah. bit. So it's um, making halfway running noises. Yeah. Yeah. So we're good. Ike is still working on the wiring harness, working on a battery box actually. Charles is still working on our fuel system. I'm gonna go ahead and work on cooling because I can't cut out our go, stop, and clutch pedals quite yet. Um, so at the same time though, the seat has to get lowered. Ike somehow doesn't fit in it again. He's just tall. So while I cut the seat out, I'm going to place and mount a radiator somewhere in there, a little bit lower so it'll be protected from debris. It won't have as much airflow as it probably should have, but we do have an electric cooling fan and we're really limited on where we can place this thing. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. take an inch out right there and right there and you can probably back. tack that in and make sure you like it and then I can figure out a back support that might also tie into a radiator mount.
today is the last day to get in on our Tillotson 212 and Performance Kit giveaway from GoPowerSports.com. All you need to do to enter is go to our website, Cars-Cameras.com, pick up an item of our merchandise like our new Send It, Bend It, Mend It hat, this t-shirt, any stickers, anything on our website, and you will be automatically entered. We're going to have our drawing in a few days to figure out our winner, and they will be announced on Facebook and Instagram. Looks pretty good, man. Thank you. It's after 9 o'clock at night, which is usually our signal to call it quits for the day. Uh, we've been making some decent progress here. Fuel tank is completely mounted. We're deciding to mount the radiator on this side of the bed. We thought about going right in here. We still wouldn't have good airflow, and we would be super restricted in what large items we could fit in the bed. So. If we mount it here, we still have decent uh, functionality and usability of the bed. We're going to need that fan on 24-7 in order for uh, the engine to stay cool. But I mounted the fuel pump. Ike's been working on the drive shaft. That's almost done. So tomorrow morning I can run fuel line. We can mount the rest of the seat. Charles can finish up radiator. Then we got brakes. We're getting real close on this thing. So tomorrow we're going to hear it fire for sure. I would really like to hear it, see it go, but I don't know if that's going to happen. So anyway, we'll catch you tomorrow. Go. Go. Right. That drive shaft looks pretty good, man. Thank you. So we can finally check something off the list. What do you mean finally? <laughs> that was the first thing we've done on the list. Oh. Yeah. Well, a uh, wiring. Wiring, I mean, okay, I, it's not 100% off, but it'll kind of crank over a little bit, you know. So it has an open diff, right? At the moment. So we're going to see how it performs and then probably weld it. Yeah, Most gonna, likely it'll gonna, be welded, but. We're going to put, what is it? We're going to put a, a, a Lincoln locker in it. I don't know. It's, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not um, actual Lincoln. It, it's open diff. I'd like to see how it performs open diff. Cause, let's admit, like on turns and stuff, an open diff is nice. Yes. And if it performs well, I think it ought to be left open diff. But if it does one wheel peels everywhere, like trying like to go my uphill and stuff, sixty six Mustang, you know, the sixty five Mustang, and then yeah, we gotta do something about it. So Charles, what have you been working on? Well, I've got the radiator mounted. It's you know don't don't look at it too hard, but it's in there. Um, and we're having we got some rubber isolators to make sure it doesn't uh, rupture. But uh, other than that, and we have to get, I think we have to run some metal tubing to try and keep it the strength, and then use rubber hose to have the uh, the elbows and whatnot. But we still have to. There's there's quite a bit that we still have to do. So yeah. That, just for mock-up. So all these guys have been working on whatever they've been working on. I went ahead and welded some brake line brackets. So our rubber line has a place to mount and our hard line has a good solid place to bolt into it. So our buddy Charles had to head out. Uh, he left us a nice little note on our whiteboard over there. We got a decent amount done this time. We were only able to cross one thing off our list, but we've made major progress in all the other areas. Uh, we should have all the parts we need for brakes, and we've started to get the brake lines plumbed. The radiator is mounted, the fuel tank is mounted, so uh, just plumbing for all those systems should be pretty straightforward from here. The wiring is almost done. Almost. Yeah, uh, still need to work on the pedals, but we kind of got to hear this thing sputter over, yeah. which is awesome. So next time I would really like to hear it run and rev once we get that fuel system finished up. But thank you for watching this video, guys. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram in between videos to see what we're up to at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Of course, if you want to pick up a high-quality piece of merchandise and help support your favorite YouTubers at the same time, uh, go to our website, cars-cameras.com. We have a ton of different shirts, uh, all different styles for all different types of people. And, um, yeah.
What do you got? Oh yeah. A new hat. A new hat, exactly. Thank you, Isaac. Got a red tee, got a couple of black tees, got a white tee for everyone in Florida who, you know, it stays 110 degrees all the time. Or Arizona, Texas, all those places. Uh, anyhow, Ike, check him out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. Wow. 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 Good day, mate. Hey. Throw a little shrimp, shrimp on the bobby. How about a hydration session? Oh, Lordy. Have you ever seen that?